load it down like a Snapchat. Go over your head like a snapback. Uploaded a pic, double tap that. And your flow so old, granddad. What you gonna do? Run, go meet a dad. You know what I do? Well, this is Southeast Hall. But the ranking won't best, y'all. Watch this. Love confession. What She's like? a heartbreaker. She bend over back breaker. Steaming up what a vapor. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I created this soft, beautiful, easy, drugstore affordable <laughs> fall makeup glam. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was super, super easy to create. And you guys know I love looks like this. These are more like me because they actually enhance my beauty a lot more and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Per usual, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so then you're always notified when your girl uploads. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Bye. Well, hello there, my babies. Welcome back to another video. So, we're gonna start off by prepping my lips. I'm going in with my Vaseline. Um, I usually do this before I record, but I never show you guys this part. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Neutrogena Hydra Boost. What a gel. You guys know this is the real stuff. The real stuff. If you haven't got your hands on this, what are you waiting for, sis? This stuff is like bomb, okay? And I know many of you guys already bought it and you guys let me know all the time on Instagram. So I'm happy that y'all like it. So now I'm gonna grab my Maybelline primer. This is their hydrating primer. I'm just gonna work this all over my face. If, um, as you guys can tell, this was supposed to be a talk through. It was actually not supposed to be a fall, a easy fall makeup tutorial. It was supposed to be a total, a totally different makeup tutorial. But I ended up switching it when I was actually, um, doing my makeup so anyways you guys see my brows are not done which I'm gonna show you guys how I do my brows on this video I never do because it's so hard for me to do them on camera but this time I did so yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Maybelline setting spray just to hydrate my face um, back to how it was because that feels so good you guys so now I'm gonna grab my NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade brown. I'm gonna leave everything down in the description box. You guys know, and I also leave the links to where to get everything. But y'all, this is how I do my brows. <laughs> I was so stressed out, like this was stressful for me. But this is how I do my brows. I usually just outline them first with a brow pencil, and then I fill it in with a like a dark brown, you know, powder. It could be an eyeshadow. It could be anything, honestly. But this is how I do it. Hey, get a girl. <laughs> so yeah, so I just fill it in like that. I could leave it like that, but honestly, I just go in with the powder just to um, fill in the spots where I missed it. No brow. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this brow pencil is legit the best thing ever. I used to use the Anastasia. Then I, I used the Benefit, but um, I love both products. I just found this and I was like you know what this is so affordable and you can't go wrong with the eyebrow pencil that's only nine bucks compared to like the other high-end um, brow pencil but I, pro I will probably go back and grab those high-end brow pencil pretty soon so now I'm just gonna clean up my brows and I'm going in with my LA Pro concealer y'all this is this is like the key to making your brows look like you got them done okay let's say you're trying to grow your brows like me i'm really trying to grow them out so this honestly helps me a lot just to make it look like i got these brows done and which i didn't okay so yeah i just take my time um just cleaning underneath my brows and blending it all in with just a regular normal brush you know um brows and foundation routine is one of my favorite things to do you guys so now i'm gonna also grab my milani foundation in the shade chestnut I'm gonna work this all over my face. You guys know this is my ish. So it's almost done. And I'm about to cry. Guys, it's fine. Uh-uh, not today. Oh yeah, that's what, that's what I thought, that's what I thought. So you guys, after having that little situation, I end up getting some foundation out of that freaking bottle. So we're just gonna work this all over my skin like so. I was gonna actually grab a uh, buffing brush to do this, but I end up grabbing my beauty blender. Beauty blenders are the ish. But I need to start using my brushes so I can like, you know, 
see what the hell they can do with my face, okay? So yeah, after blending that all in like so, we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. You guys see how nice and full coverage this foundation is? Also gives me like a under glow, okay? It's so nice, so nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and start concealing and I'm grabbing my sister It's You Skin Perfecting HD Concealer in the shade Bronze and Honey Beige. Um, the reason why I mix both of them together is because Bronze is like literally my skin tone and then honey beige is too bright So both of them together just gives me the perfect highlighted look that I'm going for I love these these concealers so much. I don't even use them as much like I should um, they're super affordable um, so I will leave them the information down in the description box so you guys check that out. I, I feel like they don't have a lot of like shade ranges. That's the only thing I could say. But other than that, if you find your your um, exact shade that you're going for, it's a good concealer. Um, so yeah, so we're just blending this into my skin like so. You guys know this. You guys have seen me do my foundation routine like 2,000 times or even more than that. <laughs> so this is nothing new. I love blending and blend, 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 okay? So now we're going to grab my, um, what is this? Ebony Bronze Foundation Stick in, uh, wait, no, this is the Black Opal Ebony Bronze Foundation Stick, y'all. I'm losing it today, okay? It is like almost 1 o'clock and I feel like it's freaking 5 in the morning. So we're just blending this into my skin. This is just for me to bronze up my skin, contour, make my forehead look smaller. Wink, wink. That would never happen, but this is just an illusion for it to look smaller, okay? So we're just gonna blend, 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 um, blend it till your arm falls off. Hey, blend it till your arm falls off, okay? So yeah, so this is what I love doing. I love my foundation routine. It just makes my face look so snatched. And I feel like when you contour, whether it's your nose, your whole face, like it just makes everything look so different. It don't make no sense. Eh? Oh my God, the power of makeup. Oh, makeup, my gosh. <laughs> so now we're going to set under my eyes where I highlighted my forehead and my chin um, with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So affordable. You guys know this is my ish. I could live on Sasha setting powder. Like, I could just have that product as my setting powder and never try any other products. But since I want to switch it up here and there, I did buy some different setting powders like the Milani. Kind of scary. A little bit. I'm going to test it out one of these days. I'm just kind of scared. It's just, it gives me like that ashy look. Ugh, I don't know. So now we're going to set my face and I'm grabbing my Maybelline setting powder in uh, the shade 360. And this is their matte poreless foundation powder pretty much. And yeah, you guys know I set my face only because once I contour, I feel like my face is like put together. You don't have to do that step, but I always say do it the same way how you set underneath your eyes. You know, that's the steps I usually just follow. Like I said, you don't have to do it. It's your face. You can do whatever you want, honestly. Um, but this is how I achieve like a flawless, flawless beat. So now we're gonna uh, bronze up yet set where I contoured with my sleek contour kit. Um, like I said, you guys, set your face like I just train myself a lot of things in my makeup routine like I do unnecessary stuff and there's some stuff it's like oh that makes a lot of sense you know so now we're gonna go back into that uh foundation powder that I set my face with and I'm gonna work this all over my eyelid as pretty much a eyeshadow because this is supposed to be like an easy fall makeup look okay this is like your everyday fall makeup look right now like if you're simple and you don't like to you know, put a lot of eyeshadows on your eyes. This is a quick, quick beat, okay? And you can also do this and just change your lip. You don't have to do the same lip as me. You can, you know, grab a bold lip and just have your your face really simple and just have the whole concentration on your lips. You do you, honey bun, but today I decided to do something super soft and easy and glam, okay? So, I'm going to grab my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighters, you guys. Oh my god. These highlighters are a game changer. Like, they are beautiful. Um, I have the shades Topaz and um, 
what is it? Gold. So molten topaz and molten gold. Beautiful highlighters. For them to cost to the price that they are, it's amazing how nice they really are. Um, I usually grab these highlighters more than my high-end highlighters when I'm, you know, doing my makeup on a regular day without me recording. Like, these are amazing highlighters. Now we're going to take the same highlighter and put it in my inner corner of my eyes just to give the look a little bit of pop because I am super simple on the eye area and then I'm also going in with like a super simple lip so yeah I wanted this look to be very subtle and flirty and very like I don't know very airbrush and smooth I don't know I just have a lot in my mind right now how I want how I wanted this look to look but um, so now we're grabbing the same highlighter and I'm just highlighting my face all the points I usually highlight and yes I highlight my big forehead I just like the outcome that I get out of it um, if you have a big forehead like me you don't have to do this but I just do it because why why not so <laughs> so now we're gonna take uh, my uh, Maybelline Big Shop mascara. I want you guys to let me do know down in the description box what good mascara is out there because my lashes are short and curly. I just need something to help assist out. Okay. So now we're gonna pop my Coco lashes in a more and go in, go in with my Maybelline eyeliner pencil and just um, underline my water lash line and you see the look just went from like. To ooh, okay. So now I'm gonna grab my NYX uh, lip pencil in brown, and I did not like this lip pencil at first because it is too. It's a nice lip pencil, but I didn't like it with this look. Okay, so then I end up grabbing my ColourPop liquid lipstick in Tansy. So this is how the look should have looked, but then I went ahead and grabbed my Mac lip pencil in Chestnut just to darken it up a little bit. Um. Because I felt like that NYX pencil was not doing doing anything, okay? And I wanted the look to, like, pop just a little bit since my whole face is very, like, you know, very flirty looking. So, yeah. So, this is the only product in this video that is high-end, you guys. And this is it for this look, my babies. I went ahead and grabbed my Maybelline Setting Spray. And, yeah. So, this is it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy it. Per usual, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, a like down below. I love you guys so, so much. Now, i and I'll for sure see you guys in my next video. Hey, look at that cutie. You better get it, girl. This is my favorite part, okay? The slow motion. <laughs>